In a world grappling with inflationary pressures, the Federal Reserve's strategies have sparked heated debates among experts. Barry Ritholtz, the CIO of Ritholtz Wealth Management, vehemently advocates a different approach. He believes that to bring inflation down to its desired 2% target, the Federal Reserve should cut interest rates contrary to the prevailing notion of raising them. As the FOMC meeting approaches, with the likelihood of interest rate hikes, Ritholtz's perspective challenges the norm. The drivers of today's inflation, such as soaring apartment rents, housing shortages, and a scarcity of workers, are not conducive to further rate hikes. Ritholtz contends that raising rates will exacerbate these issues, making housing costs more burdensome and impacting the rental market. Instead, he proposes that lower rates will stimulate the housing market and aid in curbing inflation. As the economy faces these crucial decisions, one cannot help but wonder, could cutting interest rates be the key to taming inflation? Welcome to Global Economic Drops, where we bring you simple summaries of important daily and weekly economic news from around the world. Our mission is to simplify the economy and help you navigate the treacherous waters facing investors today. So before we get into today's videos, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell icon. And if you find our news briefs valuable, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below telling us just what you think is going on with the state of the world. And share this video with a friend or two so that you can all stay updated together. Thanks for watching, and now let's dive into it. In the ever-evolving landscape of economic policy, the question of how to tackle inflation remains contentious. Amidst the discourse, Barry Ritholtz, the CIO of Ritholtz Wealth Management, boldly challenges conventional wisdom. With a fervent belief that cutting interest rates is the solution to bring inflation back to its coveted 2% target, Ritholtz stands in opposition to the widely held notion of raising rates, as suggested by the Federal Reserve and many economists. Although interest rate hikes may have served as a viable prescription to alleviate inflation when it peaked at a staggering 9% in June 2022, Ritholtz posits that the current drivers behind inflation are not amenable to further tightening. The issues at hand are multifaceted, encompassing surging apartment rents, a dearth of available homes, and an insufficient workforce. Notably, shelter costs alone constitute a significant portion of consumer inflation, making these factors crucial in the inflationary equation. In Ritholtz's compelling argument, raising interest rates is not the antidote for these challenges. Instead, he asserts that such a move would exacerbate the situation, leading to a downward spiral in the housing market. Raising rates would cause owners' equivalent rent to appear less attractive, reduce the supply of single-family homes, drive up housing prices, and push more people into the rental market, leading to higher apartment rents. The repercussions of such actions could potentially amplify the existing inflationary pressures rather than mitigating them. Over the past 15 months, the Federal Reserve has adopted an aggressive stance on interest rate hikes, propelling the Fed funds rate from near 0% to slightly over 5%. Although the Fed paused at its June meeting, market expectations point to at least one more increase despite indications of inflation easing. When exploring Ritholtz's stance, it becomes apparent that history offers some support to his claims. Prior to the pandemic, the Federal Reserve kept interest rates at historically low levels for an entire decade, during which inflation remained consistently below the 2% target. The heart of Ritholtz's argument lies in a broader perspective on inflation targeting. He advocates for a reconsideration of the long-term inflation target, suggesting that the Federal Reserve should aim for around 2.5% or even 3%. This proposition arises from the substantial fiscal stimulus infused into the economy over the past three years, which has totaled trillions of dollars. In Ritholtz's view, the landscape has shifted since the aftermath of the great financial crisis, warranting a re-evaluation of the inflationary goalposts. As experts and policymakers grapple with the path forward, Ritholtz's views serve as a catalyst for critical discussions. Should the Federal Reserve indeed cut interest rates to tame inflation, as he suggests? Furthermore, is it time to reassess the long-standing inflation target in light of changing economic dynamics? The answers to these pivotal questions hold the potential to shape the trajectory of the global economy and impact the lives of people around the world. Thought-slash-emotion-provoking question, 
Amidst the ongoing debate surrounding inflation, where do you stand on the matter? Do you believe that cutting interest rates could be the remedy needed to address the current inflationary pressures, or do you align with the prevailing view of raising rates? Moreover, considering the changing economic landscape, should policymakers redefine the long-term inflation target to navigate these uncertain times effectively? Share your thoughts and join the conversation on this critical topic that shapes the world we live in. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on global economic news. See you on the next video, and please like and share if you enjoy our content.